Hey, Tails! Why don't you try steering the ship on a different course now? I guess I can. But where exactly do you want me to go, Sonic? Wherever. It doesn't matter. It's just we've been going in this direction since the Metarex began chasing us 12 hours ago. And I've been wondering why they haven't fired a shot at us. Are you suggesting that the Metarex tricked us into going this way? Is it a trap, Sonic? Why don't we find out? Okay. And while we're at it, we can test out how accurate their tracking sensors are. Let's push our speed to the max. Chris, increase auxiliary engines to maximum power. Roger, increasing power now. Turn to mark 3.1. Are you sure this is a good idea? They're turning two. It's a laser blast. The Metarex are firing at us. Oh, shoot! Guess they don't want us going this way. Change course to mark 0 0.8. Maintain speed. But there are three ships approaching at mark 370, and they're coming at us full speed. <laughs> Quick, target those ships now. You got it. Amy, load six missiles and prepare to fire on my command. Target set. Missiles are loaded. Fire! Five more on the way! Return to original coordinates! Roger! Now it's their move! Cream, keep all the shields up! Roger! If the Metarex back off now, it's because they want us to head this way! The Metarex ships turned around! They aren't chasing us anymore! The Metarex are up to something! Looks that way! Chris, are there any Metarex ahead of us? I've been trying to search the area with our scanners, but so far I haven't detected anything at all. It's possible that somebody's jamming our scanners. Then it is a trap. We should turn around. No way. I'm really curious to know what the Metarex are scheming. You want us to stay on course? That doesn't make any sense, Sonic. We're bound to get attacked. That's what I'm hoping for. Challenging and amusing. Do not underestimate that hedgehog and his friends. Remember what happened to your fellow commander, Red Pine. <laughs> Red Pine was a weak fool. He did not have the right skills to defeat Sonic, but I do. It's all a matter of brain power. You see, it's impossible to vanquish a powerful opponent unless you understand him. I have built two prototype robots to test the hedgehog's abilities. Perhaps they can defeat Sonic. If not, I'll use the data from their attack to construct another robot that will destroy him! <laughs> That's magnified? We can hardly see anything. I can make the image bigger. I'll just have to zoom in digitally. Not exactly a prime piece of real estate, is it? Huh? Hold on! Look at those readings! The computer analysis shows those craters 
things were all made recently. The Metarex probably kept attacking this planet until it was totally lifeless. Tails is right. I thought it was a bad idea to come here, but I've changed my mind. If these Metarex want to challenge us, then I say bring them on. The scanners have located their base. Let's go there and make them pay for what they did to this planet. They think they fooled us, which will make it even sweeter when we beat those Metarex. Okay, let's go for it. Turning off all shields to increase power. We're ready to go. This can't be right. The ship's sensors have detected a bunch of Chaos Emeralds. What's going on? Didn't you adjust the sensors so you wouldn't pick up any more fake emeralds? What makes you think these emeralds are fake? They could be real. There's no way this many Chaos Emeralds exist. Hmm. How many of them are out there? About 500. Whoa, that's a big rock collection. It looks like these fake Chaos Emeralds are a lot more advanced than the others we've seen. Those Metarex are definitely clever. But they're also devious and dangerous. Speaking of the Metarex, you guys, it looks like they're sending us a message. This is the first time they've ever sent us a text message. I'll turn on the translator. You don't have to bother. I can read it. Greetings, Space Voyagers. It was I who sent the Metarex to attack your ship and chase you down. You were being tested, and you have passed with honor. I admire your great courage, and I invite you to visit my base. I am Black Narcissus, a commander of the Metarex. So he's inviting us to his base? Let's send him an RSVP on a missile! If we do go to that base, you should stay on the ship. You're much too hot-headed for this mission. What? I am not a hothead! Oh, yeah? <laughs> she got you. There's more. Uh, really? What else does it say, Cosmo? I'm all mixed up. I meant to say there isn't anything more to the message. Huh? Okay, let's go and say hello. I doubt the Metarex will invite us back after we wreck the place. <laughs> <laughs> This is a new low! Cosmo? Oh. They're coming in fast! There's too many of them to shoot down! <gasps> hey, Sonic! According to the sensors, those missiles are packed with potassium nitrate and aluminum. That's weird! I don't get it! Well, those chemicals are used in fireworks! <laughs> Feeling this trip was gonna blow up in our faces? Nothing to fear, so far. 
<laughs> Welcome to my base. You promised to tell me everything. I want to know the truth about my ancestors and the Metarex. You tell me now or I'm leaving. Foolish girl, you aren't going anywhere. You're incredibly naive. Don't you realize you've been tricked? <sighs> the only reason I brought you here was to make you my prisoner. Prisoner? Answers I have about your clan that you seek. To my base, you will come in five minutes when I launch the missiles at your ship. That message doesn't make any sense. Are you sure the translator is working? I think so. Cosmo is the only one who understands the Metarex is writing. Has Sonic figured out where she went? Not yet, but I'm sure he'll find her soon and send her to the bridge. I wouldn't count on that if I were you. Amy's ship is missing. Huh? How could she leave the Blue Typhoon without the sensor spotting her? She must have had help from a hacker. But the only one who could hack into the system other than me is Chris. He's gone too. Listen to me. There must be a way to work this out peacefully. Can't we just try- Silence! I have no intention of negotiating with you. You are not invited here. Return to your ship at once, or you will be destroyed. I'm sorry I got you involved in this mess, Chris. Forget it, okay? It's not like you forced me to come along. I wanted to help you. I still don't understand exactly why you wanted to come here, but I'm sure you had a good reason. I did. Please understand. I had to come. I had to. Really? <laughs> I'm sorry to laugh, Cosmo. It's just you remind me of myself when I was younger. When you were younger? When we make it back to the Blue Typhoon, I'll try to explain. Let's get going. Hold it. Your friend Cosmo stays here. Sorry, but I don't think so. <gasps> Come on, Cosmo! Ugh. This is the most dismal escape attempt I've ever seen. I'll give them a head start to try and add some excitement. Oh, don't worry, I've got everything under control. Let's go! <laughs> Chris, are you all right? Your friend is not hurt. For now. I must say I'm rather pleased he tried to flee. It's been too long since I felt the thrill of taking down a foe with my own hands. I must try it more often. Chatter and let's get on with the attack! Take it easy! We're ready! Then let's go! Tails, let's fire up the cannon to full power! Yeah, if we can get Sonic in there fast, we may catch Black Narcissus by surprise! All set, Sonic! Sure am! That Metarex won't know what hit him! Okay, then I'll get the cannon ready to fire! Increase the power level to maximum energy now! Right. There are a lot of fake emeralds here. <laughs> Suddenly, I don't feel so great. Sonic the Hedgehog, oh. how kind of you huh? to drop in. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Won't you join me in my command center? <laughs> You're not at all what I expected. I didn't think you'd be so scrawny. It's hard to believe you're a great fighter. Well... Maybe later I can prove to you how tough I am. But right now, I want to see my friends. Now, are you going to show me where they are? Of course I will. 
Your friends have not been harmed. In fact, the only reason I took them prisoner was to lure you here. You see, I've heard so many stories about your powers that I decided to bring you here for an experiment. Sorry, pal, but I'm a hedgehog, not a guinea pig. Now where are my friends? You will cooperate with my experiment. We will start by collecting data on your strength and speed. I already told you there's no way I'm gonna help you. Now show me where my friends are. Since you refuse, then I will have to experiment on your friends. Oh, this is a trap, Sonic! Oh! Sonic! <laughs> your you friends certainly make yourself? a pathetic pair. Chris! Cosmo! The fate of your friends rests entirely in your hands. If you choose to oppose me, then I assure you they will pay a painful price. It should be quite entertaining. <laughs> well, Sonic, what is your decision? Are you ready to proceed with the experiment? I've never seen Cosmo look so scared. She should be. Uh, Chris was passed out. What did you do to him? He attempted to escape and was taught a painful lesson. It is time for the experiment. These two Metarex were designed by me especially for this occasion. Gold will test your strength, and silver, your speed. I based my Metarex designs on data that was collected during previous battles against you. I'm eager to see if they're powerful enough to defeat you. <laughs> All right, then. Let's test them out. <laughs> Looks like you'll have to go back to the drawing board. Settle down, Sonic. I don't think I've ever seen you this worked up before. You are not the only one having a bad day, you know. Our trip was a real space odyssey. We had some mechanical difficulties. For some reason, the egg drive got scrambled up. Space travel is tricky. I've warped past so many planets, I'm starting to see stars. Listen, Sonic. I'm really disappointed in you. From now on, be careful not to let your temper get out of control. Or one of these days, you may find you're always angry, just like another hedgehog we know. You should get out of here. And don't worry about your crewmates. Shadow already rescued huh? them. <laughs> the kid will be all right. I hope you learned your lesson. Next time, I may not be around to save you. Ah! Rouge wrecked the machine that makes the fake Chaos Emeralds. She seemed to get a real kick out of it. That felt great. If there's one thing I hate, it's imitation jewelry. You Metarex have bad taste. From now on, stick to genuine gems. You did a great job, Rouge. That was awesome. Yes, I know. They don't call me a knockout for nothing. I don't like the way you attacked Chris and Cosmo. It's one thing to take them prisoner and threaten them, but when you actually hurt somebody, that's going too far. You said it, Doctor! Even we have some principles. And I also don't like you making counterfeit chaos emeralds. Yeah, that's phony baloney. And another thing! Silence! Back off, Buster! What the? My robots are tougher than they look. They could beat a whole army of Metarex with their bare hands. Why did you interfere, Eggman? Because I want to send you and your Metapals a warning. What warning? Are you teaming up with Sonic and his friends against us? <laughs> well, now, that all depends on whether you want me to be your most dangerous foe or most valuable friend. Black Narcissus, you'd better tell your fellow commanders not to underestimate me again. It's clear that your battle against Sonic and his friends has just begun. Today, I came to that hedgehog's defense, but that doesn't mean we're on the same side. I could still be persuaded to join your team for the right price. <laughs> Talk around, got ourselves in situation, stuck in a new